Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Montego Bay businessman charged after 80 million cocaine seizure. 59-year-old Hugh Fraser, a businessman of Westgate Hill, Montego Bay, St. James, is scheduled to appear in the St. James Parish Court on Wednesday, February 10, to answer to drug charges. On Friday, January 29, the narcotics police arrest Fraser at about 7.15 p.m. during an anti-narcotic operations along the Flanker Main Road in the parish. Reports are that Fraser was driving a Hyundai motor car and was signaled to stop. He complied and the occupants and the vehicle were searched and 11 packages of compressed cocaine weighed about 11 kilograms were reportedly found. The illicit drug has an estimated street value of over $80 million. Fraser was interviewed in the presence of his attorney and subsequently charged with possession of cocaine, dealing in cocaine, and trafficking cocaine. Mavado responds to son's murder conviction. Dancehall star Mavado has responded to the murder conviction of his teen son, Dante Brooks, in the home circuit court last week. In a statement posted to Instagram on Wednesday, February 3rd, the singer first expressed gratitude to all the fans, friends, and family members who said positive and encouraging words throughout this terrible time. Corruption, 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 Jano Star, Mavado declared. He then launched into a broadside against his old nemesis, the Jamaica Constabulary Force, decrying the police's handling of the case, and disparaged the testimony of the main witness, the father of the deceased, during the 12-day trial. Some people are so wicked. How could a man change his statement over four times, even when on the stand, and said that the police altered his statement, he wrote. The case was presided over by Justice Leighton Pusey. The police came to my house and took my son from my house in Norbrook, locked up five other family members, for no reason, which resulted in two of my family members losing their jobs because they were in jail for days without any charges. This man also went on the stand and said that these same police officers who carried out the arrest of my son and my family from my home are working for me and he feared his life, Mavado added. Mavado poured cold water on the veracity of the main witness's assertions in court. The same man who claimed he feared his life still gave over 14 pages of statements. The inconsistencies in a this man's statement only shed light on the corruption. The singer, whose real name is David Constantine Brooks, also promised to fight for the lives of these two innocent youth. He released a song three weeks ago called Not Perfect, which seemed to reminisce about his past decisions an effort that has raked up over 1.2 million viewers. The legal team plans to appeal the teenager's murder conviction in the Court of Appeal. Brooks, 18, was also found guilty of illegal possession of firearm and arsony in the Home Circuit Court in downtown Kingston. His co-accused, Andre Hines, was also found guilty. They face possible life sentences when they are sentenced on March 10. The two were arrested and charged in connection with the grisly killing of Lorenzo Thomas in the St. Andrew community of Cassava Peace on June 5, 2018. Prosecutors led evidence that Brooks and Hines were among five men who entered the home and shot Thomas before pushing his father into another room. Thomas' killers attempted to sever his head but aborted that plan because the machete was too dull. They then poured gasoline on the house and body before setting them on fire. Prosecutors relied on the eyewitness testimony of Thomas's father, who indicated that he knew his son's killers from the community. Tommy Lee's brother remanded in custody for another month. Dancehall entertainer Tommy Lee was remanded in custody when he appeared via Zoom in the High Court Division at the Gun Court today. The artist, who is on gun and ammunition charges, will next appear in court on March 24. Tommy Lee, whose birth name is Leroy Russell, was arrested on December 14, 2020 by members of the JCF Specialized Operations Unit. 
He was apprehended after a Toyota Mark X motor car in which he was traveling was intercepted at Holborn Road, St. Andrew. A 9mm pistol containing 18 rounds of ammunition was allegedly found in his waistband. Audio Mark, Bojo Foundation assists Jamaican youth with donation. Giving back to artists and their communities is a cornerstone of music sharing and discovery platform Audio Mark's true ideals. This led the streaming and music distribution company to the Bojo Banton Foundation to offer hope to economically challenged youths in Jamaica. To that end, Audio Mark has donated US $5,000 to Bojo's humanitarian efforts, which include providing instruments and sporting equipment. Despite recent hiccups, the BBF intends to deliver its mandate to provide for the underserved communities locally. Such underserved communities include the Sunbeam Children's Home, Mount Olive Boys Home, and Denham Town High School that all are benefit from the effort of Audio Mark. The gift is timely, and Bojo Banton Foundation BBF Director Rosemary Duncan expressed gratitude for the support from the Audio Max team for giving a helping hand. In response, Duncan added that she salutes Audio Max for opening its hearts and hands to vulnerable boys and mentioned that the BBF intends to invest donations in resources that will prepare them for a better and brighter future. The Bojo Banton Foundation provides sustainable assistance like skills training and educational opportunities to ensure that underserved and at-risk youth have equal opportunities to succeed. The organization collaborates with international entities and popular artists such as rapper Kanye West, who recently assisted in securing funds for laptops, supplying tools for developmental growth and establishing dependable learning environments are critical for disenfranchised youth. Audio Mac is a global leader of independent music for fans, artists, and industry professionals. Jason Johnson, Vice President of Marketing and Brand Strategy, explained that Audio Mac is not only about moving music forward, but focus on helping to move forward the life of those who are underserved. The Audio Mac team is excited to partner with Bojo Banton and the BBF and are confident that the union will help provide resources to the boys so they can have an opportunity to excel at the highest level. The Audio Mark Caribbean Division, led by Tanya Larson, is striving with an increased focus on highlighting the talent and supporting island-specific initiatives, including charitable acts. Admittedly, Larson clarified that the Audio Mark Directive involves fully embracing the people and place that give rise to and inspire artists and music lovers while providing outreach. We work with personal champions for rising talent from the Caribbean and we invest in amplifying voices in tandem with increased visibility on the international stage and crossing into the mainstream. The Audio Mark platform is accessible by app and on the web at audiomark.com. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell for daily updates.